After World War II, Hawaii's Okinawan community raised money to help with a famous episode known as Pigs from the Sea. And as we gear up for this weekend's Okinawan Festival, we take a look back at the history of the local Uchinanchu community. The Battle of Okinawa devastated Okinawa, and in just less than three months, complete decimation you know, of, of the southern part of Okinawa. So that led to an effort to have Hawaii residents, Hawaii Uchinanchu, help the Okinawans because actually an Uchinanchu in the U.S. military came back with stories of, oh my goodness, we need to help our friends, friends and family. So people got together and they started raising money for things like medicine, uh, food supplies, me uh, educational, everything, anything you can think of. And so one of the first were pigs. So they decided to research and raise money to buy 550 pigs. So they raised $50,000, which today, the value would be close to half a million or over half a million dollars. They were able to put those pigs on, on a ship, and when they arrived there, again, uh, a very well-organized process of distribution in Okinawa over time. So 550 pigs turned out to be over 40,000 pigs in a few years. So that led Okinawa to always not only create a strong bond with Hawaii, but always remember and want to give back. Part of that was in 1980, one of the governors of Okinawa came to Hawaii and said, you folks need a center. You folks need some place to call your home. And that started the idea of, okay, let's build a Hawaii Okinawa center. And between uh, the late 80s and 1990, all the planning went in. Uh, people raised over $9 million to build on this beautiful 2.5 acre lot. You know, this is some place not in the crowded city and somewhere where we can really build a, a beautiful center like this. So with the help of many Okinawans in Okinawa to help raise money for the Hawaii Okinawa Center, not only Hawaii, but Okinawan citizens help. They had a campaign to donate funds to purchase the Kawada tile, which are on the roofs of our two buildings. And at the time, these are the only two buildings outside of Okinawa that featured Kawada tile. And so in fact, I have two of the you know coupons that show that people have donated at least a uh, thousand yen so that was a, approximately probably over ten dollars at the time and ten thousand yen hundred dollars and they're saying one kawara tile at a time to help build the hawaii okinawa center in appreciation for what hawaii residents hawaii uchinanchu did for okinawa after the war over nine million dollars later the center was built and in 1990, June of 1990, the Hawaii Okinawa Center opened. So this center represents our home. I'm, I'm lucky to call it my office. You know, it's a gathering place. And important with that idea of it being a gathering place is to have people come and be able to learn. It includes a museum and it includes a library. And our museum has things not only from plantation days because of our immigrants that immigrated here in 1900, but also things that represent Okinawa, karate in Hawaii, uh, the, of course, the story of the, of the pigs and all the other aspects of Okinawa, like lacquerware and bingata uh, textiles. We do want to thank all our donors that make this possible. Uh, you know, we are, a nonprofit. We've we've been struggling through this pandemic, and you know, and we're landowners, so it, it costs so much money to upkeep. And you see how beautiful this place is, and it's through the the efforts of volunteers and donations. So uh, we're always in need of donations and always in need of volunteers. So if you go to hua.org, you'll be able to see all the information and that allow us to contact us or for us to contact you. And thanks to John for sharing the story of the history. A little side note, these photos, a lot of them taken by, I believe it was his grandpa, a family member who's an active part in this uh, famous event which led to the pork and the really strengthening of ties between our islands. Very, very cool. Uh, and I, lo I love to look at the old photos.
Mm -hmm. That's very nice, yeah. History, you can see those out at the center. We're going to have more throughout the week yep. as we continue featuring the culture. And coming up, we're going to